Hi, uh, I've been thinking a lot about these vlogs that I'm doing and someone recently told me that a proper vlogger essentially does a video diary of their life. Uh, I'm not willing to do that because my actual life is very private. Uh, my working life is uh, what you get to see and what you get to read on social media and uh, so on. So I've decided that I'm going to turn this into almost a reflection or a thought of the week. Uh, and the glutton for punishment that I am, I've been reading up a lot on neuroscience, especially about memory. And uh, an interesting fact about memory is that when you recall a past experience and remember it, when you're done with that memory, you essentially refile it as a new memory. So it strikes me that we are responsible for our own memories. Therefore, we are responsible for how we, our own mindset and how we perceive and view things. So in terms of tennis, if someone has a bad experience, say whether it be in the training court or the match court, they can recall that, think about it, and process it in such a way that they can actually learn from it. But the only way you can do that is if you have a good sense of perspective, a good sense of your own self-worth and what tennis actually means to you in the grand scheme of things. And I'm not saying that tennis can't be important, but it should not define who you are. So a little piece of homework, and you can try it if you like, or, or just think about it metaphorically, is if you had a bad experience in your life, and you logged it, say, in a journal or a diary, and then three months later you recalled it, and three months later you recalled it, and you did this maybe for a year or two, it would be interesting for you to reread each blog. So if you did eight uh, logs, sorry, if you did eight and you read them back, does your memory become more positive or does it become more negative? Because I see a lot of people in tennis very bitter about things that have gone in the past. And for me, I think what we are perhaps doing in the tennis world too much is recalling memories and almost making them more negative, refiling it, recalling it, making it more negative and refiling it. So just a reflection. I don't, I'm not a neuroscientist, but uh, I think we are responsible for our memories. Uh, and if you find yourself speaking negatively or thinking negatively, that's on you. It's not real. It's what you are recalling from the situation. So that's it. Uh, this is the town that I live in. This is the North Sea. I maybe actually turn the camera. So here I live in a tiny little town called Gurdon. Let me zoom in. There's a couple of working boats. There's a bar called the Harbour Bar. It's essentially at the base of a cliff. And this is where I live. And this is where I create my family memories. And they're all very positive. So, next week you'll get a different reflection and we'll see how that goes from there. Take care.